The floor speaker you will use is a JBL powered floor wedge. You have to plug it into a place on the wall box. You also have to plug it in to the wall and turn it on. As you can see on the wall box, AUX4 is a connector here. It is the same AUX4 that's on the audio console in the, in the control room. This is the connector for the speaker. When you want to connect the speaker for your performance, you plug it into AUX4 and then turn the speaker on and what you mix on the audio board for AUX4 will come out of the speaker. Again, AUX4 is what you want to use for floor wedge speaker. Walk into the console. You're going to select memory 77, scene 77. Scene 77, push the recall button. The board is now set up to do Skype, music to the studio, anything you want to do to record and put content onto a DVD or the file. We're going to send music out to the floor wedge. Send to BSP on that wall box, there's a connector that says AUX4. Okay? AUX4 is either, come down here, is for backing track behind the vocalist or musician who's listening to the music and you play the music off of either the Skype computer or your little MP3 iPad connector. When you run either one of these faders up, the audio will come out of the floor wedge on the, the speaker wedge on the floor. And only that audio. The next thing you have to do is where are you going to plug in your microphone for your vocalist? We're going to assume you're going to plug it into wall box number two at the back of the studio and it's going to go into the first mic input which is mic number nine. Okay? Now, your vocalist, want, your vocalist wants to hear themselves back in that speaker along with the track. You need to make that setting because we didn't, since you didn't know which microphone you were going to use, you have to make this setting. So you come back to the board Aux number four. See, it says aux four. You've already plugged your speaker on the floor into the connector that says aux four. This is the module that's sent into that speaker. Push the mix button. If you come down to the board, you already see that your MP3 player is being sent out to that speaker. We now need to send the microphone out to the speaker. So follow from the microphone up and this little knob right here. And you see the, the, the display changing turn it up a little bit. This is the knob you will adjust to the vo so the vocalist till the vocalist says that's a good level. Let's come back and look at the overall console and talk about this. So now you have set for your recording purposes you did a mic there's two different types of mic checks you have to do. There's the mic check for how it sounds in here which you will do before the talent is comfortable out there. And then there's the mic check so that the talent, where the talent will tell you how they like what's coming over the speaker. It's very important to remember when you set the levels for recording, the microphone and the music, these knobs cannot change. If your singer or vocalist or musical person wants something different, different levels in the speaker in front of them, we come back to this and we adjust what's going to that speaker. If your vocalist wants less of their vocal in the speaker, turn this knob down. If they want more, turn it up. If your vocalist wants less music in the speaker, come over here and since we're using the MP3, turn it down or up. If you want, if they complain that the overall speaker level is too hot, Come back over here. This is the master for what's going to the speaker. Just turn it up or down. It is very important to emphasize if you adjust these levels here any direction it affects your recording. If you are trying to adjust the audio for the speaker on the floor do not adjust these levels because this is what you are recording. When you move these faders it adjusts what you're recording and what's on the floor. If you want to adjust what's on the floor, as we've said, 
you have to come up to AUX4 and make the change, either as a master level for the speaker or as the individual feeds both the microphone and the music.